Hello and welcome to this training video. In this video I want to demonstrate to you a piece of software called Tiger Software Suite 5. Now in another video that you'll find within our page I've done an overview of this piece of software Tiger Software Suite 5 but in this video I'm actually going to show it to you working. I'm going to do a demonstration. Okay. And I'm going to demonstrate it, as I said in the first, um, or as I explained in the first video, Tiger Software Suite 5 is a Braille translation or a Braille transcription piece of software. So it enables you to take text and also diagrams, or let's stick with text. It enables you to take text and actually translate it into Braille and then send that Braille to your embosser so that you then get a hard copy that the person with a visual impairment can then access and read. And what it does is it's not a standalone piece of software, it actually works within Microsoft Office. And today I'm going to be using Tiger Software Suite 5 in Office 2013. So let me just, let's just go into Word. So here we go. Um, this is Word. I'm using Word 2013. Now you may be using um, Word 2010 or you may be using Word 2007 and they've all got a similar look to them the way that the menu is at the top this ribbon effect as Microsoft call it. Um, and Tiger Software Suite is actually if you look at where my um, mouse cursor is it's at the top there's um, there's a tab which is called add-ins. Now I can't, I don't know if it's recording that part of the screen, but it's right above where you've got this normal text thing. And if we click on there, you can see it there. Let me just show you in Excel as well. Same thing in Excel. You've got all of these different tabs at the top, home, insert, page layout, and then right at the end, you've got add-ins. And this is where the Tiger software suite works. Okay, so let's go back to Word and have a look at some of these features. Now, what you see here is a very simple looking blank screen with a few small icons and a drop down text menu at the top left of your screen. So here are those seven icons, and here's your drop down menu here. Now I've opened a document that I've already saved um, into my documents which is a news story which appeared a couple of days ago about a goldfish in Australia and I've just used it because it's it's a totally harmless art article. Now the options on the drop down menu and the options in the iconic menu so to speak are one and the same thing. So first of all, let's have a look at this drop down menu and have a look at some of the options. Right, so menu option one, here you go, I've highlighted it here, is apply tiger layout. So let's choose that. Having tested it, I think that this option enlarges your text so that it is the same size as the embossed document will be. Braille physically is larger and takes up more room on a piece of paper than your standard font size of 10 or 12. And so I think this option of apply tiger settings enlarges your text to cover the same amount of space on the page as your Braille eventually will. Well that's what I think anyway. Let's have a look at the next one. Menu option 2 is to translate the document. Well, here we go. This will take a few seconds to do and what happens is the software is going through the document bit by bit and translating it into Braille. 
and it will do all of your document without um, selecting any of it. So you can see that braille dots are appearing on the page and then what happens is the text that the braille dots, dots relate to gets smaller and appears above it. Right, let's have a look at the third menu option is to translate a selection of your document. Now, So here we go, I've got the original document back here and looking at menu option number three which is translate a selection. Now to do this you need to obviously just highlight part of the document and then go back to your drop down menu and just select translate selection. Now you can see here I keep getting um, a pop-up telling me that I've got 28 days left of my trial of my demonstration model which is what I've got at home with one of the of Tiger Software Suite 5 and that's an important thing to let you know that you can um, download a, a full working copy of Tiger Suite 5 which will work for full 30 days, although it will keep telling you um, that about how many days you've got left to evaluate the program. This pop-up menu does appear quite a lot of the time. Right, and so what I've done there is I've just translated a selection um, or a section of my document. Right, menu option number four is is called quick emboss now I'm at home using this I haven't got an embosser here with me but if you select that option then it sends it straight to the embosser and it will start to emboss so make sure your embosser is set up if you choose that if you choose that option and you've got paper in it what not okay menu option five this is um, the print, this is your print option. Now if your embosser has a print cartridge attached to it so that it can do printed text and embossing then you can send it to your embosser and it will just do the printed text part of your document or if you are connected to a standard printer then you can send the document to that as you would do for any standard uh, Microsoft Word document anyway. Right, menu option number five is formatter settings and this option is the most complicated part of the menu so I'm actually going to do a separate video on this because it is so complicated and to give it the time and the explanation it needs I think I want to do a separate video. But safe to say that on this option it's it's how you control the look of the embossed document. Right, let's move on to the translation mode options. Now here you can ask it to translate text and all the graphics or only the text. So that's pretty self-explanatory if your document that you're trying to do has graphics in it and you want that to be converted into a format that can be embossed and tactile then choose the first option up here text and all graphics or if you only want the text part of your document to be embossed and uh, to be translated then just select the bottom one. Okay the menu option number eight is display mode and we can see that the display mode we've got it on here is to show the brow dots which is quite nice. The other option is to show something called ASCII. Now I only know um, a little bit about what ASCII code is 
and to be honest I'm a little bit confused let's just select it um, a little bit confused why it would why it's on it to tell you the truth because I'm not sure how it kind of adds to our understanding of what's going on with the document but if we select that option then there we go there's the there's the ASCII code um, option number 10 sorry option number 9 is reloading the original document which is a really handy feature because if like I've got here um, you've made so many different changes and actually you've got yourself in a mess and you don't quite know if what the changes that you've made are what you want to send to the embosser then it will take you back to your original document um, which I cannot do with this goldfish article unfortunately because I haven't saved it I've just remembered that but that will take you back to the um, original document which we store, saw at the start of this video and then finally the option number menu option number 10 is the help menu which you access most of it by going online and what happens here is it takes you to um, takes you to the view plus website and in order to actually access the help resources you need to create yourself a free account um, there you go you've got some frequently asked questions which you can access without an account but most of the stuff that you may want to know about um, is accessed via an online account but it's free to it's free to access okay so there is that is the the drop down menu and now to finish the video let's have a look at the iconic menu very very quickly this is the iconic menu up here these seven little icons and this menu gives access to seven of the nine elements of the drop down menu essentially so let's have a look at this one this first one gives you access to the formatter settings which as I said earlier I'm going to do a separate video on this one here is the first option of applying the tiger layout and this is where it takes your text and just seems to increase the size of the text to take up the same space on the page as your braille eventually will uh, this is the option where you can translate the whole document into braille the next one is the next icon is where you translate a selection of your document which we've got on the screen now of course this option here it just shows the, the braille dots on the screen this option shows the braille as the ASCII code which is on our screen now actually and then the final part of the iconic menu is the quick emboss and remember if you press that make sure your embosser is set up it's switched on and it's got some paper in it thank you for watching this video as I said there will be another video a separate video where I look at the format formatter settings for the Tiger Software Suite 5 but thank you for watching